Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to go through Everglades National Park. And there are several stopping points where there are overlooks or hikes around the area. And then I'm going to take a boat tour at the southern end of the park. So come along with me, and I'll show you what the Everglades look like. This is the Royal Palm Visitor Center where they give a talk about the Everglades and this is the pond right behind it and this shows the info about it and they have this hiking trail that goes up and around another large pond there with encircles that area that goes around into the middle of the pond and then comes back out and they have a guided hike around it where the tour guide tells you I think a lot more than you want to know <laughs> about the place if you don't want to do that you can just hike it around yourself by the way I've come down here to Everglades National Park on my motor scooter. I checked earlier and all of the campgrounds are full. I was hoping to be able to camp for a couple days here as well, but they're all full. And I bet you thought they only had passes in places like Colorado. Well, guess what? They have one here too. And this pass is going to take you up to an elevation of three feet <laughs> how about that this is at the marina at the southern end of the park and this is where you go to sign up for one of their boat trips which i'm going to do and the marina here is where it goes out into the ocean That is the visitor center and this gives you a nice wide view of the ocean and the small islands out there. Let me zoom into this one. See if we can see something. Can't tell what's on there. What are those spots on the back? Barnacles? Is that what the other barnacles? Yeah. You know when the session's over because the, the female come up smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Two to five males and one female. These are manatees at the marina here. So I think there's two groups, one here and one group over here. This is the boat I'm going out on the tour with. Are square like and flatter. Crocodiles also can come down here into the salt water because they've got a gland in the back of their throat that helps them filter out the salt. And then when they come up to the surface, they'll just sneeze it out. Mm -hmm. the, yep, the alligators are going to live up at the north side of the park. And folks, we are going to speed up in a moment. So remember to hold on to something and hold on to the, your hat. Thank you. 
Well, I finished the boat ride, and now I'm on my way back to the entrance to the park. This is a stopping point called Coot Bay Pond. It's got kind of a nice scenery here. They have three concrete picnic tables. The grass is a little unruly here. This is a nice little view. This is where a lot of caduus put in. It looks like a lake, but it's called Nine Mile Pond. Like it says here. It's a nice, quiet place. Kind of a natural boat dock here. Here's another pond. And this one has a guard. I guess he doesn't like people going into his pond. <laughs> About 20 feet away from me there. This area is called Mahogany Hammock. It's got this wooden boardwalk going out onto the swamp here. So this is an interesting walkway. It just goes around and around the area here. And this is the kind of mahogany tree they make furniture from. The guide on the boat tour told us that this is just like a really thick forest.
I don't know how long this boardwalk trail is, <laughs> but it seems like a long one. By the way, that last hurricane that came through here about a year and a half ago, was it Irma? I forget the name of it, but they said around the marina, they said that all around and inside the building, they were left with three feet thick mud. So it's taken them over a year to really get everything cleaned up in the condition that it is now. And it killed off a lot of trees that it just ripped out of the ground. Well, I finally came to the end of the boardwalk here. <laughs> Well, folks, this is my last stop, the Pehe Oki Trail. And at the beginning here, it looks pretty much like the last one. No, it's a lot different. And over here, look at how dead all these trees look. I wonder if they really are dead. Oh, well. Here you go. This explains it. <laughs> well, this is what they call the grassy waters. And you can see how shallow the water is there. And I guess the water is like that all over this field. This talks about the grassy waters. South Florida wilderness. Here's a more up close view of the grassy waters. Well folks, I think there's not quite as much to see in Everglades National Park as I was expecting. So, that's about it. Good day.